Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number 18. After this class, we're having just two more classes. Imagine, two more classes and we're going to finish. So that's really fine. And so, Mardo, are you okay? Because uh, you told me that you were going to be just like a listener. Everything okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. Really, really good. Okay, and here we have also um, Kenya. Hello there. Hello, teacher. Me escucha bien. Yep, yep. Es que me andan fallando los audífonos. Really. Eso a veces pasa y duele, duele cuando ya no quieren. Pero ya, anda, me, ya me van a conseguir unos más chistes. <laughs> wow. Andamos bien, pues, andamos bien. Eso espero. <risa> si no cante victoria hasta que lo tenga. Exactamente. Ok. Nice, nice. Carito, no llores. Te queremos. How are you? Crying, teacher. Hello. Ah, se enoja. ¿Por lo de ayer? Por lo de ayer. <coughs> Me ha tenido como no tiene idea hoy de muchacha. Vaya, poneme queja. Chame. Really? Me hizo quedarme hasta tres horas más. Pobrecita, Kenia. That's true. That's, That's right. True. Y mira, no te da pena, <laughs> querido. <laughs> That's true. Be, be, be. We are preparing our deed for the next week, so we need to, to work very hard. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we, we have to give the extra mile. Tenemos que dar pues más todavía. A veces pasa. Do we have La some... exploté un poquito, pero no más. Un poquito. Ok. Nada más un poquito. Ok. Um, let's see. Chacarito como que tiene una sonrisa como de villana por un momento. <risa> El ahí es... No, mentira, man, carito. Está malo, está mal. Mentira, carito, mentira. I love you, I love you. Ok, so no, it's part of the show. Parte del show, parte del show. Okay. Um, here we have que más caras inocentes tenemos acá. Tenemos a Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hi, teacher. Everything okay? Yes, teacher, ¿qué pasa, Lista? Hello, teacher. Hola. No, todavía no. Permítame. Ah, bueno. No. Permítame. Que tenía el micrófono así como un macarrón, tallerín. Ok, um, Wendy, everything okay, Wendy? Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Yes, yes, perfect. Fine. Yes, yes, con sueño, <laughs> Wendy. Yes, yes. Sí, no. I did. Ok, let's see, Yvette. Hello, Yvette. So early and at home. <laughs> Me refiero Hello, a que temprano teacher. en casa, no temprano en la clase, temprano en casa. Sí, temprano en casa, tienes razón. Yes. <laughs> But, sí. Uh, how are you? Good, excellent, or tired, cansadita, tired? Mm. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Más o menos. More or less. More or less. Pero... Okay. okay, nice. Here okay. we have also uh, Duran. Hello, are you at home? Right, Duran. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good. Everything okay? Yes. Uh, stop. <laughs> okay. Nice. I can see that you are in a rocking chair. Nice. Okay. Yes. Relaxes. Okay, relaxing. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's the attitude. Okay, good. Yes. Gabriel. Perfect, Duran. And we have also Gabriel, que va a estar... Uh, the oyente, Oscar, I don't know, Steffi también. Here we have Claudia. Okay, my friends. This is the class number 18. Class number uh, pues 18, and that's really positive because it means that we have just two more classes left. Solo tenemos dos clases más, aparte de esta. And then, finish. Van a tener, pues, par de días de vacación. Como lo notaron, um, hay un, el mensaje de WhatsApp para que ustedes puedan enviar eh, o solicitar la documentación, ¿verdad? En sus trabajos y, y, y gestionar, bueno, sí, más que todo gestionar el tema de documentación. 
para que puedan inscribirse en el, en el módulo 4, right? Beginners 4. Y después de esto, pues ya solo les quedaría, bueno, terminando Beginners 3, solo les quedarían tres módulos más y ya pasarían a Intermediate. That's nice. Ya en el 4, en el 5, es un poquito más avanzado. That's really good, right? Así que yo creo que ya están listos. Solo tienen que seguir su corazón y todo va a estar bien. Sigan mis consejos siempre. Aunque no estén conmigo, sigan mis consejos. Ok. Um, to start, here we have uh, this phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are verbs composed with two words. Or composed by two words, I'm sorry. A main verb and sometimes we have a preposition. Normalmente tenemos una preposición. Como lo que es. In. Down. Ok. Up. Esas son las principales preposiciones con las que se hace un phrasal verb. Un phrasal verb es un verbo compuesto. Entonces quiere decir que el verbo break ya cambia. Ya no solo se significa break, que significa quebrar o romper. Y tenemos otros ejemplos, no solo con break. Y un claro ejemplo es get, ¿ok? Get up, ¿verdad? Get up, que es levantarse. Tenemos get out, que es salir. ¿Ok? Get up, levantarse. Get out, salir. Eh, get down, que es agacharse. ¿Ok? Eh, get away, que es escapar. So, get uh, can be combined with different other words and its meaning changes. ¿Verdad? Su significado cambia. Y un claro ejemplo tenemos este, ¿verdad? Eh, get up, get, get up, get up, get out, uh, get down, get away. Okay? So, in this case, here we have uh, phrasal verbs with break. Entonces, tenemos break away, break in, break down, break up, break up, break into. Okay? So, break away is, eh, pues, llegar o, o separarse. A chunk of rock broke away from the cliff, que es un pedazo, ¿verdad? Una parte de, 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 la, de una roca, piedra, se separa, ¿verdad? De la, de la piedra principal. Es un ejemplo. Tenemos break in, que es force in try, forzar la entrada. He broke in, in through um, the front door, como que entró a la fuerza, ¿verdad? Por la puerta de enfrente. Break down, que significa to uh, cease to function, como que se detiene, se arruina. My phone broke down. Break down se utiliza para teléfonos, for uh, televisions, for cell phones, for cars specifically. Imagine you are in a motorcycle or in your car and, and suddenly, de repente, it stops, se detiene. So your car uh, breaks down, ¿verdad? Se detiene o como que se arruina. Break up, que es end something, significa finalizar algo. Jess broke her engagement to Carlos up. Significa que Je, eh, Jess, digamos, le puso fin, ¿verdad? Engagement es compromiso. Este, engagement, engagement. ¿Ok? Break into, interrupt a conversation. George broke into the conversation and told us, eh, George, eh, como que interrumpió nuestra conversación y nos dijo bla, bla, bla. Break up. Esa ya se las había dado. And a relationship. Laura broke up with her boyfriend. Laura terminó con su novio. Ahora, pueden pensar. Aquí tenemos break y aquí tenemos, eh, por ejemplo, en, con break up tenemos broke. Entonces, broke es el pasado. Ahora, tenemos break. Pero el pasado de break es broke. ¿Ok? Entonces, break up significa terminar una relación. ¿Ok? Como todo el mundo lo ha hecho. O nos lo han hecho. Lágrimas. Entonces, cuando decimos broke up, terminó, finalizó. ¿Ok? Eh, por ejemplo, ustedes pueden decir, why are you so sad? ¿Por qué es tan triste? Y vemos a Wendy triste. I'm sorry. My, boy, my boyfriend and I broke up. ¿Verdad? Y no y yo terminamos. Broke, pasado. 
pero en presente es break. Es un verbo irregular. Ahora, si tenemos el get, out, por ejemplo, get out es salir. Pero si ponemos got out es salió. Si se dan cuenta, el único, la única palabra que cambia es el verbo con el que estamos trabajando, pero normalmente estos verbos son irregulares. Los de los prisal verbs son irregulares. Ok, so got out. Muy bien. So, you tell me. Díganme, ¿cuál les parece interesante? Pueden ser break up, get out, puede ser get up, o puede ser break away, break away, break in, break down, break off. Break up, up como aplicación, up, break into. So you tell me and pro, or pronounce one of these words that uh, sounds like interesting for you. Okay, so uh, let's listen to Carito. What's uh, maybe a word that it's interesting for you and then Mardo. Okay, I like break up. Bra oh, oh, okay, come on. Well, I like break up. Bien, porque si dices, I like, look, I like to break up, es como me gusta oh. por estar, ok, but, but no. I like break up, so the, the phrase, interesting, I like the expression, break up, yes, y es como, un, bien, es bien fácil de recordar, en cambio los otros son un poquito más complicados, siento que break up es fácil, igual que break in, ok, eh, Mardo en Kenia, Break up. Ok, break up. Kenya and Wendy. Break down. Break down. Good. Wendy and Duran. Break away. Break away. Nice. Eh, Duran and Yvette. Oh, bread in. Ok, good. And breaking, nice. And Yvette, and then here we have, let's see who else. And Claudia. Uh, break down. Break down, okay. And break. Uh, yep, Claudia. Break up. Okay, good, nice. Break up. Okay, thank you. Wilfredo, what about you, my friend? Select one of these verbs, uh, phrasal verbs, and, and mention it. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, buy off. Break, sería break. Break. ¿Qué otro? Uh, Okay, maybe break away, break in, break off. Mm -hmm. Break down. Break down. Okay, nice. So this is like, imagine in the first module, you didn't, what? You didn't study phrasal verbs. En el primer módulo no se les enseña phrasal verbs porque es un poquito más avanzado. Ahora ustedes ya están viendo otros temas un poco más avanzados. And that's really good. Okay, now I'm going to present you a image, okay? Try to remember two words. Vamos a ver palabras opuestas. Palabras opuestas. Le voy a dar por lo menos unos, uh, what? Siete segundos, okay? Let's go with this. Yep. Okay, now you tell me what words you noticed, Yvette, and then um, Carito. Okay, uh, pretty, pretty, sí. pretty, pretty, or ugly. Ugly, mm -hmm. that's ugly. the opposite. Okay. Good, and Carito and Mardo. Okay, maximum, minimum, and protect. Oh, okay. Nice. Mardo and Nina. Okay, Mardo. Moon and sun. Okay. Outside, nice. 
inside. Somehow outside, inside, good. Uh, Nina? More or less. Okay. More, mm -hmm. less. Thank you. Uh, Duran in Kenya. Great teacher of powerful poor planting. Okay, nice. Kenya, and then we go with Wilfredo. The less sun. Okay. Uh, Wendy and... Okay, we go with Wendy and Claudia. Mm. On, off. Oh, easy, right? Wilfredo, yes, are, are you ready? Uh, no, midnight. Okay, noon, midnight. Okay, Claudia, are you okay? Okay. And here we have opposite words, que son palabras opuestas. O como también eh, nosotros le llamamos, pues, antónimos. Okay, because uh, synonyms are words which are similar in meaning. And on the other hand, we have antonyms. And in this case, antonyms are words with um, opposite meaning. And there are some easy words that we already know. For example, let me see. Um, let me check. I'm sorry. So estornudando ya apenas es martes. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Es una semana difícil. Okay, polite and rude. Here we have polite, amable, rude, pesado. Alguien eh, que, que, que es un poquito así por pesado, no, no, no tan amable. Poor, rich. Que es pobre y rico. Pero rico de dinero, de otra cosa. Um, present and past, right? Easy. Private and public, okay? Now, you mentioned a word that maybe it is not so familiar to you. It can be new in this image, but it's, a, it's a, like, it looks interesting for you. Dígame una que parece interesante, que no es tan común, okay? Carito en Durán. Uy, teacher. Mountain Valley. Ah, Mountain Valley. Good. Durán en Kenya. Oh, powerful wit. Ajá, uh -huh. weak, powerful, poderoso, weak. Débil. Eh, Kenia Mardo. Woman. Ok. Mardo Yvette. Professional amateur. Amateur. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yvette Wilfredo. Ok, vamos. Um, miss. Uh, hi. Ok. And let's see, Wendy. Wilfredo and Wendy. Oh, no no quit. Okay, Wilfredo primero, they Wendy. Okay, Wilfredo, again, please. Noise, quit. Okay, quiet. Mm -hmm. quiet. Noise, quiet, yes. Quiet. Wendy and Nina. Oh, scared. Okay. Okay, okay nice. <laughs> Good. Nina. Minor, mayor. Mayor, good. Uh, <laughs> conozco a alguien que se llama minor. Así. <laughs> it's, but it's kind of common this name. Es como común este nombre, pero yo no lo sabía. It's well. People. Ya lo he escuchado. Uh, minor. 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 Okay. Yes, my, my, co my cousin is your name. Is, is he, uh, that's the name. It's his name. Yes, minor. Yes. It's kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe people see, think like, oh, it sounds good. Como que suena bien minor, but well. A veces lo puedes trolear, mira, Dora. Okay. Um, Nina, are you connected from two different devices, right? From your cell phone and from uh, the computer? Yes, teacher, because uh, my, my computer. The microphone. The, the microphone. microphone 
is and then I, I see in the computer and then I answer in the phone. Okay, nice. Uh, as we were talking, your microphone broke down, right? Broke okay. down, ah. sir, no, yes, stop, that's stop. Okay, it is good to know this vocabulary because you can have different mm -hmm. options to express something. No sé si les ha sucedido que a veces no, no, no encuentran la palabra. No encuentran. Y como digo esto y se me olvida. So, it is important to know opposites. Si conocen palabras que son opuestas, va a ser más, it is going to be easier for you to express your idea or to express what you are saying, even basically. O sea, al menos básicamente lo van a saber decir. Quizás no con el nivel de exactitud que ustedes quieren dar a entender, pero la idea ahí está. Y eso es lo importante. Ok. So, um, creo que les voy a enviar esta imagen. Ok, I'm going to send, porque no sale completa. ¿Ve? Sale muy pequeña, así. Entonces, sí se la voy a enviar. Yes, teacher. En hmm? el yes. Ajá, entonces, sí, es important. It's important to know, like, differences, the opposite antonyms. Y esto ayuda, no se imaginan cuánto. Ayuda mucho. Um, cuando yo estudiaba, recuerdo que jugábamos bachillerato stop. No sé si ustedes alguna vez lo jugaron. Eh, era bien interesante. Yes. Ajá, entonces ese, ese tipo de juegos incentivaba. Y pensábamos el... hasta frutas y verduras. Ajá, un objeto con A y todo hacía, decían, como que ah. <laughs> ya no hallaban. Que... <laughs> A Guatemala. Ok, no, so that, that's it. It's like. Uh, but um, certainly it was an in, like, intelligent uh, memory game. Pero se trataba de jugar con la. Con la Inteligencia lingüística. Muy bueno realmente. Oh, ya, ya no se da, ya no juegan mucho eso, ¿verdad? Los chicos y todo eso. Are you talking about stop? Eh, bachillerato, stop. Ah, ok. No, no hay día. Stop, yes, but just stop. No, it's a game. Es un juego. Yes. Ajá. I know, but in Colombia, the name is stop, just no bachillerato. Ah, just stop. No, aquí. Just bueno, stop. As far as I know, it is commonly called bachillerato. Stop. No sé si ustedes lo conocen por otro nombre, ese juego. Por ese nombre, por ese nombre lo conozco. Mis, mis hijas juegan conmigo eso. No, pero es genial. Ese, jue ese yes. juego incentiva mucho. A mí me gusta bastante. Yes, yo también lo juego bastante con mi hija. Vamos a jugar aquí en inglés. Oh, maybe, yes, yes, pero mira, la cari es que Carita tiene una risa bien. Callate, caro, bien, callate, caro. Así una carita como que está esperando que el plan surta efecto, así. Ay, teacher, qué malo, tengo no, cara de ángel. Yes, no he dicho que sea un plan malo, no he dicho que sea un plan malo. Ok, so now, um, let's Gracias, see. Gracias, Kenia. <laughs> Tenemos bastantes palabras, we have a lot of words, uh, which are like a very, very, what? Nice. For example, pupil is the opposite of teacher, okay? Quiet is the opposite of loud, okay? Quick is the opposite of slow, right? Entonces tenemos slow, lento, quick, pero también podemos decir fast, ¿verdad? No problem. Eh, lo importante acá es eso, ¿verdad? Tener como... Mm, eh, ¿Qué? Un vocabulario un poquito extendido. Okay. Uh, let's teacher y... Obscure, obscure, center, obscure. Mm -hmm. ah, obscure, obscure, center, obscure es eh, lateral, lado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. okay. Es costado. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Es como order, mess. Mess, ya saben que desorden, order es orden. Messi es desordenado. Okay. Ordinary, special. Créanme que esas palabras le pueden servir bastante para expresar ciertas cosas. ¿Verdad? Que, que a veces se nos olvidan. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, a veces lo que no... Va, imagínense. Decimos un ejemplo. Va. Ordinary, special. Y a, a veces no hallamos, solo decimos ah, something not special. Ajá. Entonces decimos algo no especial para decir eh, que algo que es ordin ordinary. Right? Well, um, we're going to continue with this. Tell a challenging goal in your life and how you accomplished. It's really interesting because through your life, 
I can imagine that you have had different limitations and difficulties. Limitations related to time, related to finance, related to family support, a lot of things, because every human being has uh, his or her dreams, todos tienen sus sueños, tienen objetivos, goals or objectives in life. But sometimes we have no, well, we don't have the support, no tenemos el apoyo, the, uh, the necessary support from maybe our family or uh, in the country or um, different aspects. So even it can be, um, a goal related to studies, related to work, related to health, relacionado también a la salud sometimes. From kids, some people have difficulties and it is hard to fight against, uh, well, a lot of difficulties, right? So before we go to this, uh, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? And so you can think about it. And we, we're going to start with Carito, but first the attendance list, okay? We are. Today is 24th, so uh, Carlos, I guess Carlos is on his way. Creo que iba manejando, okay, no problema, Carlos. Carito. I'm here, teacher. There, Edwin. Por ahí lo vi, creo. Present, teacher. Good, thank you. Steffi, también la vi por ahí. Creo que está un poco ocupada, okay. Um, Evelyn. No, Evelyn. Okay. And uh, Gabriel. Sé que también iba a ser the listener. Duran. Present teacher. Good. Yvette. Present teacher. Nice. Kenya. Hi, teacher. Hello. Luis, creo que también iba de camino. Right. Okay. Mardo. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Oscar. I don't know if Oscar is going to be available. Okay. Nina. Present teacher. Nice. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good. Claudia. Present teacher. Nice, and when? Present teacher. Okay, nice, wonderful. Let me see. Okay. Yes, Carito, tell us about your experience talking about goals and how you accomplished them. Accomplished es lograrla. Es un verbo regular, por eso tiene ed. Y cómo lo lograste. Okay, first I want to say that sometimes I am inspired about this topic, but sometimes I don't know what to say, so. Follow your heart. My answer is having managed to study a master's degree, despite being alone in the country with a low salary at first. I had to work a lot. I study until late at night and on weekends. Wow, how, mo how long uh, did you take to accomplish that? Two years. Two years um, studying on, on, on the weekends and having no rest, no rest, see the cancer, right? Yes, yes. Uh, two weeks uh, press presential and two weeks making words, making presentation. Uh, I don't know, homeworks. Mm -hmm. All those things, okay. But it takes time. Yeah. Every homework takes time and remember that it is different when you are studying <coughs> and you are single and you are married or you have kids. So yeah, time is the, limited. The great difficulty, uh, the demanding, it's uh, major because you are a professional person in the master. So you have to present on a PowerPoint, a lot of elaborated graphics, a lot of things for the, for the no, work. Nothing basic, the, right? Nothing basic. No, you no, have to, you have to, so you you have to a, make a, another level. Very, yes, it's a, a 
high level and higher you level. have to apply the everything you learn in the master to your your job yeah <clears throat> okay yes that's it well two years i guess it's kind of complicated and carito and a lot of people drop out drop out a desertar even here in the english classes <clears throat> i have noticed that people drop out because they see that it is difficult to come home <clears throat> and without having dinner very tired and either two hours of classes every night so that's why i always uh, say that i admire you all Lo admiro bastante. For example, in my case, we had uh, two materials, two subjects, subjects from uh, Spain people, Spain teacher. So their schedule was long that time when they just started here. So I had to start work earlier in the morning and the class uh, finished at 10 p.m. And the weekend was uh, Saturday and Sunday. And desde uh, entonces empecé a usar lentes. Ah, so you're, I, I, you're was, okay. I was in the computer since 6.30 in the morning until 3 a.m. Every oh, day okay. for two you, years. You have, so my, have... my eyes, pilas. Okay, you began to have uh, problems with your sight. Yes. And that's because you had a lot of um, a lot of presence or a lot of contact with the computer and even studying at night because of the light, right? It is not the same in comparison to study during the day because your sight is like, uh, it's tired, of course. Yes, and when you, you stay, you pass all, all time all day the monday to monday in front of the computer work and study everything so the your eyes uh, i don't know how do you say get sick uh, oh get sick se enferman oh, sí. yes 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 oh do your eyes like like starts uh, having problems yes i'm so sorry and but that's the reality of a lot of people because imagine yes i have a friend had problems with the electricity so he had to study with candles con candelas so that's why from the <clears throat> since he was 18 years old he began using glasses because of that yeah. or even when you are in the, in the bus in the public transportation and you are reading yeah that's you the have worst problems. for your you eyes have problems with that yeah yes okay thank you carito Okay. Nice experience, nice experience and kind of problematic, but I guess at the end it was really, it felt, it felt really good to finish yes. your objective, right? Okay, that's worthy. Cuando decimos worthy, es como que valió la pena. Okay, nice. Eh, Nina, hello. You have okay. your, your, your answer, okay. right? Okay, I'm trying to explain. Yeah, oh, okay, go ahead, Nina. Okay, um, times ago, I went to India and study management, mm -hmm. uh, especially microfinance. But my, my big problem was the class all in English. Oh, wow, or yeah. The Indian accent was very difficult for me. Yes, Indian accent is kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, I learned English and learned management in the same time was hard for me because uh, I didn't sleep. Uh, I study management, I study English, and every day feel nerves because think if I know pass the exam, I lost my time because uh, I will, my trip uh, for India was very hard and was an excellent experience because uh, at the end, I have a certificate and improve my job. Oh, yes. And believe me, Nina, you already know, certifications are so important nowadays, maybe yeah. more than uh, university degrees because yes. the certifications are international. 
And yeah. yes, it, I, that that is really important in your curriculum or in your yes in, in your in your in your experience background. So you can be hired from other enterprises, other companies from other yes. other countries, right? Yes, yes, yes. When I come back, I um, make a program for micro microfinance for micro enterprises in in El Salvador, and then for me, it was a excellent experience and I don't know what I say uh, for me is a challenger mm -hmm. challenging I, say, I can do it yes no, okay no, no afraid I can do it mm -hmm. okay yes yes okay and that's this a challenge is un reto and Nina wow congratulations Learning two things at the same time, it's really, really difficult because yeah. imagine here in, in the suburb, for example, or in another country in which uh, Spanish is spoken, sometimes we have difficulties and limitations, but yes. learn something um, which uh, you are not using your mother language is really, really difficult because you can feel lost. Te puedes sentir muy perdida por eso. Yeah, right. yeah, sometimes I, I feel I feel uh, afraid because uh, the people don't understand me and then I speak slowly, but for necess necess necessity, uh, for uh, buy food and uh, 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 help to the professors and something in the university. And then at the end, I, I laugh because the people understand me for few for few words, words, but the people understand me what what I'm talking about. Okay, Nina. Now I now everything is clear. I understand because your okay. accent it's it's different. Your accent it's kind of Indian, yeah, <laughs> like in, in Indian sound. And I had <laughs> yes. yes. I, I don't know why I, I didn't tell you uh, before because I have a, an English teacher in a certification which I took and he was from the India. Yeah, oh, okay. but from We're... India and, and his, his English is kind of different, but at the end you understand, si lo entiendes yes, al final. Yeah. but at the yeah, beginning yeah. it's like kind of weird. So that's We why you have kind of pauses. Así que tú haces unas pequeñas pausas, pero súper pequeñísimas. Y ahí yeah. está el, el, el tema del... The well, Indian accent. Right no, no I, it's okay. I, I take this class. No, I come on, in, uh, Nina. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Wow, it's so interesting. Sobreviviste. You survived. Yeah, I survived in India, yeah. Yeah, you're a survivor. Okay, nice. <laughs> Perfect, Nina. Okay. Thank you uh, for, for that, for, for sharing that. Imagine another big experience. Otro día nos vas a hablar más sobre, sobre esa experiencia. Okay, Nina? <laughs> Okay. Sounds really good. Uh, Duran. Oh, yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, uh, I challenge, I challenging goal in my life was to graduate in industrial engineering. Mm -hmm. And especially is an internal quality auditor. It was very hard because my father did on day before my high school graduation and oh, wow. my mom my mom helped my me almost the entire degree and i worked informally oh wow that's really hard uh, duran because yes, sure. i guess you mentioned that one of the previous days uh, going yes to, it's, it's, but at the it's, end you, it's, Please go. This, this day the the is me our graduation is our como sería o como el día de mi graduación era el funeral de mi papá. Yes, the funeral and your graduation yes, the was the same day. Imagine, wow. It, yes, my mom was all my come and my support and all those. Yes, yes it's my support. Yes, imagine when you have a happy moment. The, one of yes, the best sir. moments in a memorable no, moments in your life. And you are thinking about uh, your father, 
the funeral, your family, and even your heart, right? I know it's it's really uh, difficult, but you did it, Duran. And believe it or not, your father almost almost see that that that, that moment, but well, definitely, he is he's really happy with, with your with your uh, goals, right? But it's a real it's a real difficult. Yeah, it's a but you did it, to insist in that, right? A challenge it. Yes. Yeah, yes. Un reto. Okay. So thank you, Duran. Thank you for sharing that. And so congratulations. Nice okay. Because you did it. Okay. You have your engineering degree. And here in El Salvador, yeah. it is not difficult to study that. Any kind of engineering. No, yes. no, no. Easy. It's not easy. Okay. Thank you. Let's check to this. Uh, vocabulary support is apoyo. Despite significa a pesar de. Despite. Pueden decir despite y la palabra o despite of how long, eh, ya sabemos que es how long significa cuánto tiempo, how long, yeah. eh, cosa, okay. higher, higher level, nivel más alto, drop out es eh, desertar o dejar, retirarse, subjects, materia, site, vista, worthy, esto es valioso o algo que vale, como que vale la pena. Eh, de hecho, eh, Thor, en los Avengers dice que alguien si sí es worthy, worthy, eh, pero él lo dice como cuando van a levantar el mío el, el, el martillo, ¿cómo le dice? Digno. Uh -huh. Él dice, ah, you are not worthy. Así dice él, you are not worthy. No eran digno, le dice, pero worthy también significa valioso. At the same time, al mismo tiempo, invest, eh, invertir, challenge, que es un reto, una dificultad, lost and died. Ok. We're going to continue, and then we're going to have some other opinions. Thank you um, so much for sharing those uh, experiences. Okay, uh, here we have prepositions. Tenemos las preposiciones. Here we have prepositions. And here we have next to, que significa la par. In front of, no in front of, no, in front of. In front of, between, between, entre. Across the street, a cruzar la calle, across, o oh, across, es cruzar o cruzando. Around the corner, ¿verdad? Eh, sería en la esquina, en la esquina, right? Like the case. On the right, a la derecha, on the left, a la izquierda. Down street es caminar sobre la calle, okay? Down street. And corner, it's a, it's a word that is used um, in soccer or in football, right? So it, when they say the corner, es el tiro de esquina, ¿verdad? So next to, in front of, between, between, across the street, around, no around, around, around the corner, on the right, on the left, down the street. Ya saben que right es derecha, left es izquierda, y en los audífonos aparece una R. ¿Verdad que es right, que es audífono? Va en el lado derecho. L aparece en otro, que es left, que va al lado izquierdo. Right? So that's uh, like a way to, to understand it. Okay? So this is kind of easy. We're going to check um, some, some other vocabulary. Let me see. Okay. Uh, you tell me where it's located different um, different business from the picture, right? So we're going to use this. Vamos a escuchar next to, que es a la par, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, le pregunto, okay, where is the barber shop? Okay, the barber shop is on Pine Street. Cuando vamos a mencionar la calle, decimos it's on, está sobre la calle Pine, okay? It's on Pine Street next to the hospital, okay? Necesito que siempre me digan it's on, ya sea First Avenue, que es esta, it's on First Avenue, okay? This is the Second Avenue, and this is the Pine Street. So you first mention the, the street or the avenue, and then you can use the preposition so you can detail 
where it's located that business, okay? What is the barber shop? Oh, the barber shop, or you can say it's on Pine Street next to the hospital. So you can understand it because this is old Pine Street. Or even, or aún me pueden decir, it's between the first avenue and the second avenue next to the hospital, para hacerlo más claro, okay? Entre más detallado y más claro, es mejor, okay? So, let's see. Vamos a hacerlo eh, de esta manera. Necesito que eh, entre ustedes se pregunte. Por ejemplo, que Wendy le pregunta a Mardo. Okay? Por ejemplo, Mardo, where is the library? Y Mardo dice, ok, the library is on Pine Street. O puede decir, on the corner of Pine Street and the First Avenue next to the hospital. Ok. Le voy a poner otra vez. I'm going to show you again the options so you can have an idea what to say next to a la par in front of en frente de between between es muy útil between entre across the street around the corner on the right on the left down the street okay carito can you do me a favor please can you have a screenshot puedes mandar esta captura al grupo Right now. Thank you. Ready, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, You're going to start, ¿ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, comienza Wendy con Mardo y de ahí Mardo le pregunta a alguien más. A los únicos que no les pueden preguntar, si no me equivoco, es a Steffi, a Oscar, a Carlos y a Gabriel. Porque creo que solo están de listeners. ¿Sophie? Okay. Sophie. Ok. <laughs> so sorry. Um, no problem, no problem. Ok, Wendy. You go. Let's start with Mardo and then so on. Y de ahí Mardo le pregunta a alguien más y así sucesivamente. Ok. Yeah. Ma, uh, ok. Mardo, where is the high school? Mm, high school is corner Pine Street in Pierce Avenue. Okay, it's on the corner of Pine Street and First Avenue. Okay, easy. Eh, no te puedes perder tanto, okay? Pero podría ser también acá. Ah, no? Sí, high school. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Mardo, you go. You can ask to uh, another classmate. Mm, Quien tenga cara de inocente. Kenya. Mm. Ok. Mira, Carito solo se ríe, ¿verdad? Saber qué sabe. Algo. Tiene información. Where is drugstore? Where is the drugstore? La tienda de drogas. Drugstore. drugstore. Ah, drugstore, right? La farmacia, ok. Yeah. Kenia. No. ¿Escuchaste, Kenia? No, no, no. Estoy entrecortado. La pregunta. Where, uh, Kenia, mm -hmm. where is drugstore? Drugstore. Ah. Uh, Around the corner. Around the corner of the qué? La esquina de cuál? Porque hay muchas esquinas. Uh, corner. Uh, to, no sé, to avenue. Second avenue. Ah, second avenue. Uh, Pine Street. Pine Street, 
-hmm. Okay, good. Um, yes, on the corner of Second Avenue and Pine Street. Okay. Y todavía puede decir next to shopping oh, okay. center. Thank you. Este con aquí en Salvador conocemos muchos shopping centers, pero este es diferente de nosotros, right? Okay, Kenia, you go. Okay. Mm. Ibet. Mm -hmm. Where okay. is the bank? Where is the bank? Okay, where is the bank? Bank, bank. Here is the bank. Uh, uh, okay. Um. Shopping. Um. Uh, is a shopping center in front of ok, ok, hay que ordenar las ideas vamos al banco ajá, Ajá, correcto veamos acá entonces la calle, it's on por eso dije que al inicio tienen que mencionar la calle it's on, digamos aquí, Ajá. Por aquí. it's on Pine, Pine Street, Street. Uh -huh. mm. y podemos decir que está entre estas dos cosas right? entre, sería Between. Next to, mm -mm. next oh, to, next to, okay, next to what? Next to shopping center. Okay, next to shopping center. Okay, good. Nice. Now you, Yvette, ask to another classmate. Okay, veamos. Mm. Eh, Carlos? No. No, Carlos is not. Mira, okay. mira aquí en el... En, Okay, mm, Carito. Okay, Carito. Okay. okay. Uh, carito, where is um, uh, where is the sports center? Where is the sports center? Okay. Sports center is on Pine Street. In front of the cafe and the bar. Okay, in front of the cafe and the bar. Could be across the the street of the cafe and the bar. Mm -hmm. Could it be? Okay. Nice, Carito. Now your turn. Okay. I'm going to ask to Rosalina. Rosalina, where is the grocery store? Okay. okay, Nina. Okay, the grocery mm. store is on Pine Street um, around the corner, around the corner in Pine Street and First Avenue. Next oh. to, I don't, I don't see the, the yeah. Uh-huh, okay. Okay. Eh, ¿Quién nos hace falta? Creo que nos hace falta Wilfredo. Uh -huh. okay. Wilfredo. Where is the, the bar? Imagínate eh... donde están preguntando, Wilfredo. Rápido, va a decir el compañero. El Willy. Ajá, Wilfredo. Ajá. On the corner. Ah, it's on Fine. the corner. Rápido lo ubicó. It's <laughs> on the corner of the qué? The qué calle? Uh, Pine Street. Pine Street. Okay, nice. Esta seguramente tiene que ser en third, third Avenue, porque es first, second, third Avenue. Okay, nice, Wilfredo. Qué rápido lo encontraste, Wilfredo. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Para cantar las rancheras. Ah, ahí donde canta el karaoke. Okay. No, you can see that it is not difficult to uh, say the address or the location, okay? La ubicación de las cosas, okay. So, um, here we have, take turns to read the directions, your partner, okay. Here we have, the hotel is across the street. ¿Verdad? Aquí tenemos que es a la par, o sea, cruzando la calle. The gas station is around the corner. The bank is next to the gas station. The ATM, que significa cajero automático, okay? The ATM is down straight on the right. 
the restaurant is down the street on the left. Okay, similar a como estuvimos, okay, anteriormente. Well, let me see here. Okay, we're having, we're having this uh, short conversation. Vamos a tener esto, okay? Carito, can you help me with the screenshot, please? Of, of course, teacher. Give me one second. Yeah? Yes. Bien, okay. aquí vamos a utilizar... Okay, quiero ver. Sí, creo que ahí se alcanza. Okay. Okay. Here okay. we have uh, 16 question strips going to. Bien, entonces acá necesito que ubiquen que seleccionen cinco preguntas. You select five questions and ask to your partner. Y se le van a preguntar a su compañero, ¿ok? For example, what are you going to do after class? ¿Qué vas a hacer después de la clase? What time are you going to go to the bed tonight? ¿Ok? Um, what are you going to do? Are you going to do the homework tonight? Why, why not? Tienen que seleccionar cinco. For example, we have Kenya and Yvette. So, for example, Kenya selects. Uh, what are you going to do for fun next weekend? ¿Qué vas a hacer para divertirte el otro fin de semana? Eh, y en este caso, Yvette le contesta. Ahora, Yvette no tiene que hacer la misma pregunta. Yvette le puede, con, le puede hacer cualquier otra pregunta. ¿Ok? Seleccionen cinco y cinco. ¿Ok? It is not necessary to... Um, Ask, answer and ask the same question. Son cinco y cinco diferentes. Okay. So I'm going to uh, put, I'm going to arrange, vamos a agregarlos ahorita en, en los breakout rooms. Ayer no tuvimos dificultades. Entonces espero, Dios mediante, no tener problemas ahora con este Zoom, ¿verdad? Y si tenemos problemas, I'm sorry, se salen y vuelven a entrar, right? Porque es necesario los breakout rooms. Bien, denle una revisada ahorita a las questions y seleccionen cuáles van a contestar. Denle una leída a todas y tengan una idea qué van a contestar. Think about in advance uh, uh, of your answer. Piensen ya en, la, en las respuestas de cualquiera de esas si se las llegan a ask. Ok. Mientras tanto. Hago los grupos. Okay, just a question. Una pregunta, Evelyn. Are you there? ¿Está por ahí, Evelyn? Yes, teacher. Okay, excelente. Hola, buenas noches, Evelyn. Hola. Hola, ahorita vamos a los grupos, ¿ok? ¿Qué pasó? Hello. Nada, teacher, es que pensé que ya estábamos allí. No sé por qué se, se me dispara siempre. Ok, no problem, no problem. Vamos ahorita, ¿ok? Si nos saca Zoom, recuérdenme como un buen teacher. Bye, bye. See you. Hasta después. Vamos a hacer unos cuatro minutos así, practicing, or three minutes, go. Necesito que you have to accept the request, la solicitud.
Ok, Mardo, necesito que aceptes la soli. Si te llegó. Mardo. Acepta la solicitud, Mardo. Ok. Estoy esperando. Eh, ya te la envié. No, no te ha llegado todavía. Okay. Sí, es lo que estaba viendo en la imagen. Te la vuelvo Ahorita a enviar. Sí. Ya, ya. Ahorita me llegó. Gracias. Ok, ok.
Okay. Let's see. Um, here we have this. Let me show you. Tell uh, a challenging goal in your life and how you accomplish it. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit, maybe Evelyn. Can we have your opinion about this question? Mm, no, teacher. I don't know. No. No what? <laughs> you don't have any difficulties in your life? Uh, no. Okay. So let's listen to Kenya. What about you, Kenya? Are you ready with your answer? Hello, teacher. Hello there. Are you ready with your answer? A challenging goal in your life? I'm sorry. No, it is that. Perdón, 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 perdón. Esta. No lo entendí. <laughs> yes, yes. Richard, yes. Ya ahorita, ahorita el teléfono test. Okay. Yeah. Good. Está con lo de las preguntas. Ajá. Yes, okay. I, I imagine. Okay. My most chale, challenging. 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 Uh -huh. Challenging. My most challenging goal was to study and work at the same time. Oh, in, okay. the, in the end, I offered, no sé si así se dice, offered, que es fulfilled. I'm sorry. What is in Spanish? Perdón. ¿Qué, ¿A qué te refieres en español? Ajá, que me refiero a que al, al mismo tiempo. ¿verdad? Ah, ok. At the same Ajá. time. Uh -huh. Vale. Okay. My purpose. Purpose uh -huh. of graduating in industrial chemistry, but I achieve all this with a lot of effort and dedication. Oh, yes. Wow. And that's it. So you work and study at the same time. Yes. Oh, yes. The, the schedules are really difficult. Similar uh, to, to Carito's opinion that she was working and studying the master's degree. So, well, how much time or how long did you take? ¿Cuánto te tomó? Tres años. Three years. Okay, yes. So I can imagine that you studied at night, okay? You were very tired. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Well. So congratulations, Kenya, because you finished it. Lo terminaste, right? Yes, el año pasado. Ya es el año que me gradué. Excellent. Se siente bien, but it feels good. Ay, sí, pero uno comienza que ya quiere terminar y cuando no termina, a veces no quiere ni sale. <laughs> yes, yes. I understand you. I understand you. Ya en las pues, últimas... Yo no, ya no quiero. En los últimos, sí, y pues, porque hubieron muchas dificultades, pero ahí lo logramos. Ok, good, Kenny. Congratulations. Thank you. you. did it. Ok, Mardo, what about you? Are you ready with your answer? Mardo. And then we go with Yvette. Yes, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. Maybe it wasn't a goal, but I do consider it an achievement. I had to do I have to go to an extra strong extraordinary physics exam okay. exam and i was one of the few who ma managed to pass the exam exam oh so it was for for working or for some other activities for work for or other activities other activities so you have to train to be sick entrenar or at least you, you have in good condition, right? 
to yeah. approve, to approve, que significa aprobar, to approve that exam. Yes. Okay. Yes. How many people were like in that contest? ¿Cuántos estuvieron concursando o participando, participating in that exam? Do you remember the number? Many person. Many, many people. Wow. So it feels good, right? It feels good when you approve yeah. something and there are a lot of people trying to make it. At the end, you are the one or one of the, 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 the ones who approve the, the, the exam. Okay. Excellent, Mardo. Congratulations. What about you, Yvette? Okay, teacher. Please, thank you. Um, graduating from the University of El Salvador, a single mother with two children and my mother to support and working. It was quite a change, but I uh, achieved in the in December, 2016, mm -hmm. I can only say that it is thanks to go and troops in his promise. He never gets up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, that sometimes it is really, really difficult, but if you have your your the support of God and your family, you can do whatever you want. Wow, starting with two kids and your mother, yes, it's yes. extremely difficult and complicated because of the finance, the economic, and the time, right? Because you were a single mother, right? Era ma madre soltera, right? So yes. I can imagine. So it was kind of miracle. Parece como un milagro, right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Congratulations, Yvette. I, I, I admire okay. when people tell that kind of stories, cuando cuentan esas historias, todas las que ustedes mencionan, it's like, wow, you have had difficulties, limitations, but now you are okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Yvette. Okay. We continue. Okay. Okay, we continue with what's the name of this song? And here we have Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, are you ready with your song? Because tomorrow we have Carito, right? Okay. okay. Yeah, tomorrow. That's right. I was. Forget, forgot. I forgot. Okay, but I tomorrow. Forgot. Okay, Carlos, Did try you? to prepare. Well, prepare your answer. Si, solo el permiso quiero que no me da. Bueno, sí, ya. Yeah. No, you have. You have my permission. Okay. Salen cosas raras, no de esta. Sí, va, buxo, buxo. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's see, let's check what, what song is this. Okay, can you read it, please? Okay. How many times do you have to tell you even when you're crying, crying you her be beautiful too? The world is baiting you down and around around every month. You, you're my downfall. You, you're my mouse, my world distraction, my trip, I blues. I can't stop singing, singing. It read me in my head for you, my head underwater. But I'm breathing fine. You heard crazy. I am out of me, me. My mind, out of my mind. Okay. Okay. Um, any ideas? Because I don't have any clue about this song. Mm. Is it from a band or from a singer? Mm. A singer. A singer. Is it from the yes. United States? From uh, Canada? Yes. yes. Okay. 
Okay, Kenya. All of me. No me equivoco. <laughs> All of my what? Yes. Oh, all of me. All of me. All of me. Ah, yo, all, all of, of my. Quizás. Okay, what, what's, who's the singer? John. No recuerdo, John. Yo no recuerdo. No recuerdo, pero yo, yo no me recuerdo el, 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 el siguiente nombre. John Legend. Ajá, sí, sí, el exacto. John, what? Legend. Legend. What? Legend. Legend, yes. No idea about this song, but maybe we can hear about it. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Thank you for okay. recording this uh, song that was like new for us. Como un tanto nueva para nosotros. So uh, here we continue with the class. Um, 28 minutos y terminamos. Okay, 28 minutes and we finished. Okay, here we have how to use imperatives. Bien, los imperatives son como direcciones o hasta se pueden tomar como órdenes, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, go straight, go straight es B directo, go straight, go past, B pasando, go past the hospital, B pasando el hospital, turn left es gira a la izquierda, turn right, gira a la derecha, ¿ok? Go up o go down the street, B hacia, B sobre la calle o B, B, ¿qué? Derecho. Walk down the street, ve sobre tal calle, go on for two blocks, camina o sigue por dos cuadras. Blocks significa cuadras, ¿ok? Take the first left or take the first right. Toma la primera curva, ¿verdad? O vuelta a la izquierda, lo toma la primera a la derecha. Eso es para curvas. For example, there is a what? Here we have this. And you are on Pine Street. Imaginémonos que están acá en Pine Street. Entonces te les dice, okay, take, uh, you go straight. Vete derecho. Take the first left. Toma la primera izquierda. Okay. Or you're aquí. Tú estás aquí. You go straight. Vete derecho. And turn the first right. La primera izquierda. Derecha. Okay. So that's why uh, they are using this. Okay. And here we have this. Okay, Wendy, can you help me reading this, please? Do the phrases. Do the phrases above have a subject? Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh -huh, yes or no. Y le preguntan, ¿estas frases de arriba tienen sujeto? No, right? No tienen sujeto porque son indicaciones. Okay. Use a verb. Continue, please, Wendy. Use a verb. Use a verb without a personal pronoun. An imperative to give directions. Thank you. That's it. Y otros, bueno, también tenemos otro tipo de imperatives. Es stand up. Silence. Come in. ¿Verdad? Stand up, levántense, silence, come in, entra. Ok, esas son, son imperatives. Los imperatives son como órdenes o indicaciones que se dan. Ok, but here we have imperatives for giving directions. Tenemos imperativos para dar indicaciones. Ok, and here we have this speaker A and speaker B. For this one, I will need the help of Carito and Nina. Okay, Carito, you are speaker A and Nina, you are speaker B. Please. Okay. Good morning. Could you give me the direction of the nearest hotel? Ay, no se van a reír, es que estoy viendo mi teléfono. Y no alcanzo a ver las letras, excuse me. Ah, no, no problem. Ok. Uh, permítame, Good permítame. Make sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Ok, that's it. So, it's a short you, conversation. Sir. Es una conversación corta, ¿verdad? So, good morning, could you give me the directions? No le pregunta, how are you? Uh, what's your name? They ask just the... Eh, 
what the correct information the, the that's that the the needed information yeah so that's it mm -hmm. entonces podemos usar eso could you give me the direction to the nearest hotel okay so okay uh, vamos a utilizar estas carito could you help me with the screenshot please si no es molestia esto es lo que vamos a utilizar okay Pero puedes Give me la... one moment, okay? No problem. Take your time. This one? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Entonces nos vamos a okay. enfocar en uh, how to use imperatives. Gracias, Carito. En este cuadro, ok. We're going to check this, ok. Ah, aquí ya lo tenía. Todo. I'm sorry, Carito, pero mejor que lo tengan ahí. Ok, Carito, we start with you, ok. Um, we're going to be here. Aquí vamos a estar, ok. Vamos a hacer, um, let me see. Vamos a hacer esto. Okay. Este voy a hacer yo. Okay. Me veo un poco mareado, como que estoy de madrugada, como que vengo de algún lugar raro, right? But well, here we have. Here I am. Esto soy yo. A las dos de la madrugada. No voy a decir dónde, but here I am. So. I want to go to some other places. Okay, Carito, where is? Uh, bien. Could you tell me the address to the bar? <laughs> voy mareado y voy de nuevo. Okay, bar, to the bar. Okay. Aquí voy caminando en zigzag. Okay, Carito. I'm going to try because ni siquiera en español me ubico en el espacio, pero bueno. Eh, go straight. Uh -huh. On the Pine Street, one, how do you say cuadra? One block. One Hola, block. Estoy caminando en círculos, estoy caminando en círculos. Ajá. Go straight. Ajá. Ok, go straight. One or two blocks. Three blocks. One block. One block, ok. Voy por acá. No, Así no, no. Ok. Para donde va. Estoy mareado. Mom, help me. Ok. I don't know what, what to say. Uh, stop. No. Wait a second. De en medio de la calle. Ok, here I am. Ok. ¿Cómo está así o así? Go straight, one block more. Ok, one block more. Ajá. Uh -huh. Stop. Ok. You have a right. All right, tengo un derecho. Ok. Oh, sería turn. Mm. Turn, turn. Turn right. Turn right, ok. Ah, oh, that's it. Ahí estoy feliz otra vez. Aquí voy a bailar. Thank you. Thank you, Carita. Carito. Now let's listen to Wilfredo. Wilfredo, I want to go to the barber shop. Estoy mareado y me quiero ver bien. So. Uh, street, Pine, uh, Pine Street. Ajá, aquí vamos, vamos go straight. straight. Uh, go, go straight. Bueno, no me voy a ir tan derecho, pero ahí voy. Go straight. Uh, two blocks. Two blocks, ok. And turn the left. Turn the left. Thank you. Me van a consentir. Ok. Ya han consentido. Thank you. Wendy. I want to go to the hospital. Porque vengo demasiado alegre. So I need some vitamins. Um, go straight. Mm -hmm. 
Mucho me piden el derecho. Ajá. Eh, go for one block. Ok, one block. And turn left. No, 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 no. Yo, mira, no sé dónde me fui. A saber dónde fui a quedar. Ok. Ok, sería cabal. Sería, ok, one. Well. No. Ok, eh... acá. Ajá, uh -huh. turn, turn, what? Turn left, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. That's it. Thank you. Turn left. Thank you. Mardo, I want okay. to go to the sports center. How can I get there? Sports center. Sports center. Mm. Go straight. Uh huh. And one block, two blocks, three blocks. Two two block. Two blocks. And okay. Turn left. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Can you see it is not that difficult? No es que sea tan difícil, right? It is just a matter of saying these uh, directions, okay? Instructions. Good. And Nina, I want to go to the cafe. Oh, difficult. Okay. Help me. Uh, Ayúdame. Street, in the street. Mm -hmm. uh, about one and a half block. And, and then uh, turn the light in front of you okay. and in, in, immediately turn the... in the corner is cafe. It's the cafe. Okay, thank you. Easy peasy, okay. right? No cuesta tanto. Okay. Creo que Carito estaba medio perdida. Creo que andaba en las mismas condiciones que andaba yo. Okay. So uh, let's check this written. Vamos a la parte de la lectura. It's easy. So we're going to start with Wilfredo and then Wendy. Okay. Después vienen unas preguntas. Okay, uh, Mr. Branson, until uh, Wilfredo va desde el inicio hasta acá y de ahí Wendy hasta acá. Vamos, Wilfredo. Mr. Benson is a journalist. Uh, Mr. Benson is a journalist from Silver. He is married to Jennifer and they have three children. Thank you. Okay. Seattle. Seattle. Es la capital yeah. donde salió el grunge. Donde salió un gru los grupos como Nirvana, Pearl Jam y todo eso. Entonces, Seattle era el nombre de un jefe indio. Okay. Cuando decimos he's married to Jennifer. Fíjense bien. No se dice he's married with Jennifer. Porque with sabemos que significa con. Entonces, por ejemplo, si Carito dice, I am married to, ¿verdad? Estoy casado con alguien, tiene que decir que eh, I am married to, ¿verdad? Nos normalmente confundimos el with, ¿verdad? Porque with significa con, pero es to. Ok, eh, Wendy. And then we go with Carlos. They have, they have two boys, Peter and Dom. And daughter Alice. Alice in chains. Good. Okay, Carlos, Mr. Benson, and you go until here, and then we have Mardo. Okay, Mr. Benson is for for seven. Forty-seven. Forty-seven years years old. He, he has he, he has short black hair and the has and the brain. He has a beard. Mm -hmm. Beard. Okay, thank you. Mardo. And then we go with Yvette. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer has large glass. glasses. And she, glasses. And she has long blonde hair. Long, long blonde hair. Rubia la fuerza. Thank you. And we go with Yvette, right? Peter. And then we go on to. I'm sorry. Okay. Peter. Peter is 16. Fifteen. He has short. Mm -hmm. Perdón. Fifteen. 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 Oh. Yes. He has short black hair, like his father. Like. He is tall. He's tall. Thank you. Okay. Now let's go with um. 
Um, who else? Carito, his brother. <clears throat> his brother, Don, has fair hair and is not very tall. He is 13 years old. Okay, good. Evelyn. Then Kenya, their sister. Their sister, Alice, is. Diecisiete. Come on, diecisiete. Seventeen. Sorry. No problem. Their sister uh, Alice mm -hmm. is is seventeen. She has beautiful long black hair. hair. She has. She has a new car. She is very happy. Thank you, Nina. You go the Benson family. The Benson family have a Labrador dog, Benji. They have a small apartment in Seattle. Okay, good. Now here we have a description about family and here we have some questions, okay? And the first one is, what is Mr. Benson's job and so on, okay? I need you to answer and select the questions, right? From one to 10. You tell me what question you want to answer, okay? So, depends on you, volunteers. Remember that if you select the question, I'm going to um, to present again the this reading so you can confirm your answer. Mm -hmm. Volunteers. Carlos, go. What number? Number two. Okay, let's go with the, number two. Yeah. Okay. Do they have a cat? Do they have a cat? What do you think? Do they have a cat? Mm, I don't know. Mm, okay. Um, they I have a, a dog. dog. They have a dog. That's it. Thank you. Yes. Okay, we go now with Nina. What number? Okay, number three. Number Does three. Alice have a car? Yes, she has a car. Okay. Um, yes, a new car, actually. A new car. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, a new car. Yes, yeah, she has a car. Thank you. Okay, we go with Wendy and Carito. The one, what is Mr. Benson's job? Mm -hmm. Is the journalist? It's a journalist. From Seattle. In yeah, good from Seattle. So, él es un, un periodista. <laughs> Thank you, Carito. You go. What number? Number six. Does Jennifer have glasses? Yes, she is. A glasses. Glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she has a large glasses. Large. Aha. Uh -huh. Large. Son grandecitos. Pero, okay. Thank you. Really good. What about Kenya, Mardo, Yvette, Duran? Any ideas okay. about the other? Hmm? Okay, teacher. Number, number eight. Number eight. It's Jennifer, her black. Okay, what's the name of the daughter? And her name is? Mm hmm. Name. What's the name? Yes. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the daughter? The name. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the mm -hmm. daughter? What's the name of the daughter? Uh, Jennifer. Uh, yes, no, no, right? No. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Um, the daughter, Alice? yes. Two boys, Peter Don, and a daughter. Alice. Yes, Alice, because Jennifer is the mother, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Uh, who else? Duran and Carlos. Okay, Duran. You go. Yes, teacher. I number 10. Number 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, uh, they have a small apartment in Seattle. Yeah, they have a small apartment in, in Seattle, right? They live in Seattle. Thank you. Carlos and Carito. 
que es Jennifer, no, Night. Y Jennifer Nine. Hayes Black. Ok. Is Jennifer's hair black? What do you think? Yes, uh, or black hair. Long. She has long, long hair. Long hair. Es rubia. Mm. Okay, thank you. Carito. Okay, number seven. How many children do they have? They have three children. Do you remember the names? Uh, no. Alice. Alice Don Cooper. Don Peter. Don and Peter. Thank you. Really good. And we have four and five. Anybody else? Okay, I'm going to ask to Mardo. Okay, Mardo, four or five? Yes, my friend. Uh, four number, or number, number five. Number five, Mambo, number five. How old are the sons? How old are the sons? Yes. Um, Peter is 15 years old and what about Don? Don, Don mm -hmm. uh, er, 13. 13 years, 13 years 13. old. That's it. Mm -hmm. Esos son los hijos, pero no la hija. Okay, good. And the last one, what, what color is Peter's hair? It's black. Okay, it's black, yeah. Peter it has short black hair, yeah. Easy peasy, right? Okay, we're going to finish with this. Ya casi terminamos. Eh, solo nos quedan mm, 17 minutos. Okay, so uh, challenging goal. And we have here, let me see. Wendy, what about you? Okay. And then Carlos. Well, one of my most challenging goals was to finish the university. Okay. And I actually... It, it's because my mom always supports me. She worked very hard in her pupuseria to be able to give me everything I needed in the career. I did, I did um, to live in the exact five years. Oh, wow. Yes. So she has a, a business, right? A pupuseria. And it is not easy, right? Definitely, it's, it's not easy. Very difficult. It's not fácil. Yes. And did you work with her? ¿Trabajaste alguna vez con ella? Sí. Yes. Okay. Good. It is nice because if you um, if you work with with your, in your uh in the family business, uh, it is really positive because you learn how to do the things. Es bueno, o sea, estar en ciertos negocios y todo. For example, you learn how to attend clients. And it is not easy. Because some of them, they want the things for now, right now. Quieren las cosas ya. Okay, and well. It's difficult. Yes, it is difficult. It is difficult. Okay, nice. Thank you. Uh, Carlos, what about you? Okay, my challenging goal is to... I study English and learn much more. It is achieved with a lot of effort. Yes, I know it is difficult, but you can do it, definitely. Definitely you can do it, okay? So that's why I always say you can do it, okay? Keep on, continue. I can continue. Thank you. And what about Edwin? I don't know if Edwin is available for uh, giving his opinion, Edwin? Yes. Okay, my friend, go ahead. Okay. Um, one of my changing goals was to be able to buy a piece of land. At that time, I didn't, didn't earn much so I worked overtime and saved a lot to achieve it. 
sound good y I achieved it. Okay, nice. I worked, okay. You worked a lot, right? Because at that time, how old were you, Edwin? Were you 18, 20 something? Do you remember your age? ¿Te recuerdas de tu edad? Ah, porque... Uh, night, 18, 18 years. Yes, you were young. And that was a big responsibility. Uh, a big responsibility. Me, okay. Bueno, eso fue de mi primer trabajo. Okay, good. Nice. Mm -hmm. okay. So, thank you, Edwin. Okay, a good, a good objective. And Claudia, are you over there? Está por ahí, Claudia? Yes, teacher. And then Wilfredo. Okay, your opinion about this. Yes, uh, my goal was to study in health in high school and I achieved it why I lot of effort and dedication. The spirit, the fact that this career is expensive and take and a lot of time and demand money, it is uh, the to spin a lot. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, yes. There are some careers which are more expensive than others. Mm -hmm. And that's really yes. common, okay? Uh, thank you, Claudia. Very nice. And Wilfredo, we finish with you. Uh, one goal I set for myself was to learn to operate heavy machinery. I achieved its with offer and sacrifice and the support of family, my family. Okay, nice. And it is good because it is another type of goals. Yes, operate heavy machines. That's not easy and that's not for everybody. No es para todos ese, ese trabajo, right? Depends of your abilities and how much you can learn. Okay, good for you, Wilfredo. Nice, nice. Sí. Ok, um, we're going to finish with this short conversation. ¿Se recuerdan que ayer... Um, Carito, can you have a screenshot, please? La última. Sí, es, pero no se ve mucho. No se ve mucho. Ok. No. Sí, no. Ok. Cuando la, cuando la pase y la comprima... Vaya, entonces vamos a no hacer algo. Clearly. Vamos a hacerlo con dos, con dos, en dos momentos. Esta. Ok. Y el otro. Ok, déjame ver. Aquí sí se ve, right? Yes, ok. Esa va a ser la primera. La primera. Ready. Ok. Uh, and here we have the second part. Okay. Listo. Okay, good. Eh, ayer estuvimos viendo la primera parte de, de, de from our reservation, right? There, there, there was a call, había una llamada para lo de la reservación, entonces en este caso vamos a ver la segunda parte. Here we have the agent and here we have the customer. Entonces el agente, ¿verdad? Es, es quien recibe la llamada. En la segunda parte, como continúa, después de, de, de dar los, los datos eh, principales, comienza. Thank you for the information. Now, let's see what you are looking for. Well, I am interested in staying for two days at your hotel. I'm glad to hear that. When are you planning to stay with us? On November 26th and 27th. Wonderful. Definitely, we have some options for you. Okay, I want to know. First of all, how many people are staying with us? Just me. ¿Se recuerdan de, de esa palabra que estábamos viendo, verdad? Us, verdad que son los object pronouns. Ok, then the options are, bueno, entonces las opciones son, option number one, single room, room service, breakfast, hot water, price for two days, $150. Option number two, single room, hot water, jacuzzi, 
mini bar, breakfast, dinner, price for two days, $300. Nice. I think they are good offers. I will take option number two. Excellent choice, Mr. Clara, que es el nombre de, 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 del cliente. Just, aquí lo pueden cambiar, puede ser Miss o Mrs. Just to confirm, you are booking a single room for two days with hot water, jacuzzi, minimal, breakfast, and dinner for $300. That's correct. Creo que está fácil, ¿verdad? Solo un par de palabritas, pero el resto creo que sí está algo práctico. Ok. So we're going to practice. Vamos a practicarla, si se dan cuenta, es lo, cuando ya le dan las dos opciones. Entonces el cliente ya tiene que elegir una. Ok. So let's do it. Vamos a practicarlo. Ya tenemos los grupos. So see you in a moment.
Okay. Welcome back. Um, Carito, who was your partner? Dura. Um, Can you practice this conversation, please? Okay. Okay. Who is the agent? We practice both. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you for the uh, thank you thank you for the information. Now let's see what you are looking for. Well, I interested to stay for two days at your hotel. I'm glad to hear that. When are you planning to stay with us? On November 26th and 27th. Wonderful. Definitely we have some option for you. Okay, I want to know. First of all, how many people are staying with us? Excuse me. Okay, then the option are option number one, single room, room service, breakfast, hot water, price for two days, $150. Option number two, single room, hot water, jacuzzi, mini bar, breakfast, uh, dinner, price for uh, two days, $300. Oh, nice. I think they are going off there. I would say option number two. Nice. I think they're going, they're good offer. I will take, uh, sorry, excellent choice, uh, Mr. Duran, just to confirm you are booking a single room for two days with hot water, jacuzzi, mini bar, breakfast, and dinner for $300. Yes, that's correct. Go. ¿Se escucharon bien? Como de call center. Nice. Perfect. Okay, my friends. Um, and we're going to finish. I'm going to check the attendance list. Thank you. So, no, bastante bien eso. Okay, so say hi, hello, if you're listening to your name, and we say goodbye. Okay, Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, Carito. I'm here, teacher. You're there, Edwin. Hello, um, teacher. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Gabriel. Duran. Hello, teacher. Yvette. And teacher. Enya. Mardo. Good night, people. Good night, Oscar. No. Nina. Hello, teacher. Hoy te quedas, Nina. Diez minutos, okay? Ten minutes. Okay. Eh, Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. And Wendy. Claudia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, my friends. Solo dos clases más. Okay, dos clases más. Ánimo. Okay, Hello, teacher. Lo estaba oyendo. Okay, good. Bien, Oscar. Uh -huh. Okay, my friends. See you tomorrow. Lo veo mañana. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye, people. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, people. Okay. Let me check this. Okay, Nina. Okay. Uh, do you want to talk about something special? Quieres hablar sobre algo en especial? Or uh, do you want me to, to make an interview? Puede ser también una entrevista. But if you want to talk about any grammar, structure, vocabulary, yeah. specific, any the, topic. The, this, the, this is my problem, the grammar. The, okay, the, tell I, me. Uh, for example, el, 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 el uso del do y el, el, el did, el have been, o sea, eso es para mí complicated. Okay, okay, okay. But vamos uno por uno, entonces. Uh, you say that el uso del do. Uh -huh. El do en presente, ¿a eso te refieres? Um, ¿Cuándo tengo que usar did, eh, done? No sé, siempre me, me, me complica, no sé por qué. Ok, ok. Mi problema creo que es que aprendí a hablar antes de, de escribir, ¿verdad? De, uh -huh. Entonces es complicado porque el, el uso de los verbos, eso quería preguntarle qué puedo okay. leer para apoyarme un poco en la gramática. Ok, ok, déjame ver acá. 
Sí, algo que yo te recomiendo bastante, pero déjame ver primero acá. Voy a escribir. Here I have this. Ok, en el caso tenemos el qué? El presente Ajá. va a ser este, te lo voy a mostrar de esta manera. Ok, este es el presente. Ok, y este también es el presente. Ok, entonces en el presente tenemos acá que utilizamos que don't para las negativas. Ok, y utilizamos, um, y utilizamos do para las preguntas. Right. Ok, uh -huh. en, en el presente con tercera persona agregamos S a las terceras personas y para las negativas de tercera persona utilizamos doesn't, ok. Y en este caso utilizamos das para las preguntas. Ahí estamos bien, Nina, con eso. Sí. Ok, ahora vamos a enfocarnos en el, ¿cómo se llama? En el pasado ahora acá. Tenemos entonces este pasado. Este es el pasado simple. Ya vamos a ver lo del don que, 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 que tú mencionas. Ah, okay. Por ejemplo, okay. ahí, cuando uh -huh. va el didn, el verbo, el, el otro verbo va siempre en presente. Sí, 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 Nina. Eh, esto es clave. Eso, grábate esto. Sí, siempre, eso sí. siempre que haya un auxiliar, cualquier Ajá. auxiliar, el verbo no se cambia. Por, ah, ejemplo, okay. por ejemplo, aquí decimos he has a cat. Ah, se okay. acaba de ver ahí. Ajá, he has a cat, un ejemplo. Ahora, he may have a cat. Él puede tener un gato. Entonces, Ajá. acá en tercera persona le cambiamos a has. Pero aquí, como tiene el may, el may te, te modifica todo. Ok. Ok, vamos otra. Eh, she, uh, she work. No, no, no. She, ok, she works, works in the, in the office. Ok, trabaja en la oficina. Ahora tenemos, she can work in the office. Entonces, aquí la S se cambia acá porque estamos utilizando el can. Aquí estamos utilizando otro auxiliar. O sea, cuando uso los auxiliares, el verbo. Normal. No se modifica. No, no. Eso es algo que no sabía. Es una okay. clave. Eso es key sí. word. Eso es súper importante. Ajá, porque eh, ten en cuenta esto, Nina. La única manera en que tú vas a modificar un verbo en presente es son en las afirmativas. Ok, espérate. Es, tengo. ok. La única en lo que le vas a agregar es, es o y es un verbo a las terceras personas es en las afirmativas, sin, okay. sin auxiliar. Ok. Porque estas son afirmativas Ajá. en tercera persona, pero con auxiliar. Can. Así como ese es, he has a cat. Uh -huh. Ah, aquí he has a cat. Okay. Aquí cambia, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Igual sí. aquí, she works. She works Ajá. in Ajá. the office. Uh -huh. works. Ajá. That's it. Sí. Ajá. Eso estoy viendo, Nina, que tú tienes un fluency muy avanzada. Tú estás muy avanzada en fluency. Pero, pero maestro, son detallitos. Saben por la grama. Uh -huh. Pero mi idea es esa, aprender bien eh, los hándicaps que tengo en el idioma. Claro, claro, claro. Esos lags y todos esos gaps. Esos, sí. eh, lo tiene fácil, Nina. Lo tiene fácil. Tú eres muy inteligente. Sí, y se me nota. Gusta te hace participar y eso eh, da más seguridad. Sí. No, claro, te da más seguridad. Pero como te repito, tu fluencia es muy buena. ¿Verdad? Solo que son estos detallitos que se nos escapan sí. a veces. No, Ajá. y no creas, no creas. A veces a uno, yo he tenido, o en mi caso, por ejemplo, cuando dice a lot of, ok, I'm sorry, no, a lot of, um, ok, a lot of students. Se tiene que pronunciar Ajá. la S, students, pero a veces decimos a lot of students. Ya, Ajá. entonces esa S, son detallitos que a uno se le van. Sí. Ya, entonces, bueno. Tenemos esto acá. Ahora, sí. um, ¿estamos más o menos claros con, con, con lo sí, del sí, sí, definitivamente. Esto okay. me ha abierto. El, es que yo uh -huh. tenía esa, esa gran... Ya el progreso y creo que después lo vamos a ver. Vea que es el otro que... Sí, el progreso vaya. Pero ahora, ¿qué otro quieres? Me un montón. 
Bien, hay otras. Yo tenía este problema que hacía que ponía el verbo en pasado. O sea, por ejemplo, he doesn't live, live eh, ya. Ah, Obvio ya. que estaba malo, pues. Uh -huh. sí. Yo pensaba que si iba este en pasado, también el verbo. He, Pero ya va, Aquí, he doesn't live. Ajá, vaya, mira. Ajá, Bien, es... Aquí, y es un claro ejemplo acá. Porque aquí sería he lives. Ok. He lives in town. Ok. He doesn't live in town. Ahora, en pasado, ¿verdad? Lo único que hacemos es que el doesn't, ¿por cuál cambia? Si queremos ponerle en pasado. Por el didn't. Exacto. Y live no se cambia. Live no se cambia. Sí. Va, uh -huh. Ya entendí. No, hombre, uh -huh. gracias. Puchita. <ríe> Te veo bien como alegre. Porque... No, okay. sí, es, que para, es como descubrir algo. Ay, no. Que ahí estaba, ahí estaba eso, right? Bien. No, pero ah. gracias. Uh -huh. No, no problem, no problem. Vaya, ahora si quieres te voy a explicar un poquito de, lo del participle, porque me okay. dijiste del don y todo eso. Bien, sí. en el participle se trabaja así, mira, y esto es bien importante. Has o have se vuelven un auxiliar. Ojo, eso se vuelve un auxiliar. Por ejemplo, I have done the homework. Yo he hecho el trabajo. Entonces, have hace el, el auxiliar del haber. Yo Ajá. he, tú has, él ha, nosotros hemos, ellos han. Ahora, en no, este no, caso, uh -huh. Uh -huh. she has done the homework. Ok. Ahora, Nina, ¿cómo podemos escribir? Él ha hecho el trabajo. He uh -huh. has done the homework. Has. Has. Uh -huh. Aquí es has. Vaya. Uh -huh. Ahora, aquí, aquí tenemos esto. Algo diferente. Esto es el present participle, ¿verdad? Que es el, el presente, eh, perdón, present perfect. Es el presente perfecto utilizando los past participle. Ahora, como está utilizando lo, el pasado participio, el presente perfecto es una acción que comenzó en el pasado y continúa hasta ahora. Ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Nina has worked in the company for 15 years. Entonces estoy diciendo que Nina ha trabajado en la compañía por 15 años. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que has trabajado, pero todavía continúas trabajando. Cosa que en el didn't, no, porque por ejemplo, Nina Nina trabajó en la compañía, pero ya no está te despidieron Ajá. o tú renunciaste. En cambio, uh -huh. con el past participle, con el present perfect, perdón, y el past participle, hace que el todavía llegue la situación. Comenzó en el pasado y sigue. Pero con el pasado uh -huh. comenzó y terminó. Work, ah. Uh, ya. Has working with, ah. El uh -huh. has, vea, el auxiliar. Sí, ajá. Entonces. En la continuidad y en la otra, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá, entonces en este caso, have y has se vuelven un, como te digo, es como un auxiliar, ya. Ajá. Ya no, ellos, ya no significa have o has, no significa tener o tuvo, significa, el de, eh, pasan a, a formar el parte, parte del verbo haber. Yo Ajá. he hecho, tú he has hecho, trabajado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Interesante, ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Ajá, y en este caso utilizamos, déjame ver si los tengo acá. En este caso, utilizamos eh, los verbos que son past participle, los que son pasado participio, ya te los muestro, que son estos, que se los mostré la vez pasada. Entonces, tenemos acá. Sí, me los tengo que aprender esos. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces, tenemos los verbos regulares, y los verbos regulares es un poco fácil, porque aquí tenemos el presente, tenemos el pasado, uh -huh. y el pasado participio. Participio. El pasado participio todo termina en ado, edo, aceptado, 
permitir, permitía, permitido, ado, edo, ido. Eh, bailar, bailaba, bailado. Yo he bailado durante tres horas. I have danced for three hours. I'm tired. Entonces, no es como, uh -huh. I, I dance, yo bailé. Ah, yo bailé. Uh -huh. Pero yo he bailado, es como que sigues bailando y estás cansada, right? Entonces, uh -huh. es lo que te digo, es algo que todavía continúa. Okay. Uh -huh. Ahora tenemos acá, um, tenemos el, con los irregulares. Hola. Algo así como que el pasado participe en el presente. Uh -huh. Así es. Para buscarle una, una sinopsis al lado. Sí, Entonces, sí, para asociarlo. Para Exacto. Uh -huh. Tenemos el presente con los irregulares, el pasado con los irregulares y tenemos el pasado participio. Tú ya sabes que los verbos irregulares cambian, ¿verdad? Cambian. Uh -huh. Aquí está el do, tenemos el did y tenemos el don. Uh -huh. Tenemos drink, drunk, drunk. Entonces, yo drink. I drink, eh, I drink oranges. I drank oranges yesterday. Yo bebí jugo naranja. I have drunk oranges since I was a, ch a child. He bebido jugo de naranja desde que soy un niño. O sea, desde que era un niño, lo, lo bebí y todavía lo sigo bebiendo. Increíble. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In Tres minutos. Gracias, teacher. Uy, ya. Uh -huh. De verdad que bastante. Es, es, es que son detallitos así que no, le sirven sí. a uno. Sí, de verdad, gracias. Porque sí me tenía un poco tensa esto, que no, no, no lleva por dónde, pero ya voy a okay. practicarlo. Sí, nina, sí, nina. Hay, hay que practicar un poquito. Y pues, como te digo, no es que sea tan complicado. Sí, sí, no, no, no. Es ¿Verdad? Entenderlo pero hay detallitos de esos. Entonces, eh, pues eso sería, Nina, ¿verdad? Okay. Espero que, que, que te haya servido un poquito esa explicación, oh, sí, ¿verdad? Muy amable. ¿Verdad? Así muchas que cualquier gracias. cosa, pues ahí nos vemos mañana. Ya casi terminamos, ¿ok, Nina? Ánimo, sí. ánimo, estaba aprendiendo ya. mucho. <risa> gracias, oye. ¿verdad? Feliz noche. Bueno, igualmente. Bye, bye. Bye.